Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. This is the week of May 23rd, 2022, and we've got four stories for you this week. The first one is not so funny because Wyoming is looking to work on some drone trespass law. So we'll talk about that because that's not good. We'll talk about a new camera that goes on drone called the Insta360 Sphere. We'll talk about Walmart expanding their drone delivery using drone up. And then lastly, Skadio SimForce is gonna help, well, with open source, and we'll talk about what it does. Let's get to it. The first story this week comes from Wyoming, a state that we don't really hear a whole lot from typically, but a legislative committee is trying to vote on continuing to do work on legislation that would address trespass issues related to drone flights. Uh, here's a quote, and this is a quote from, uh, the, from one, of the, one of the politicians that's involved with this. And as you can tell, they still haven't really figured out everything because he says, simply entering the airspace above somebody else's land is a trespass, which it's not. Uh, we're saying that a criminal trespass in the bill, maybe that's a misdemeanor. And that was Olson, that's the name of the politician involved. He says, and maybe your felony occurs when you do these other activities, including surveillance. Uh, what type of surveillance is it? And then question mark, they don't really know. So uh, we'd like to get a call to action. If you're in Wyoming, this is something that's important because obviously uh, this is uh, this would set a bad precedent. And not only that, but the FA owns the airspace uh, above any property, not the landowner. And uh, we need to make sure that that stays as it is uh, so that there is no overreach, which would be are pretty tragic for people that live in Wyoming. The next story this week comes from Insta360, the uh, company that makes a whole bunch of different cameras, and they released a new camera for the Mavic Air 2 and for the Air 2S. The camera is a 360 cam. It renders the drone essentially invisible. Now, this is interesting because a couple of years ago, Insta360 came with the 1R, and the 1R had the ability to be split between two lenses, and you could actually put that on a Mavic 2 Pro. They didn't make a whole lot of noise back then about this, but I guess as drones are getting more and more popular, they're trying to get into that market. Uh, we actually had built this into an FPV drone where you could put that. So we had built a prototype to do this uh, probably over a year ago now. And, uh, and then later on, the company came up with it and built an actual frame for uh, an FPV drone where you could do that where the camera was sandwiched. Now, based on our experience, this would be interesting to see the footage on this because um, anything that was on pretty close location was not all that great in terms of details because the camera was spread pretty uh, far apart. And this is what it looks like in this uh, scenario where they wanted to keep the sensors on that drone available so that you could you know, use the, the, um, the obstacle avoidance sensors. So you can see the video playing and all that information. So if you're interested, uh, we'll put a link to the uh, Drone Excel article down in here, and then you can get more information. All right, the next story this week is Walmart that is expanding their drone delivery. Uh, they have been working with DroneUp for a while now to do this, and now they're expanding to six major cities, uh, Phoenix, Tampa, Orlando, Dallas, Salt Lake, and Richmond. Uh, they expect to do deliveries in 30 minutes or less, and they're also hoping to expand to 34 more sites by the end of the year. So again, we'll put a link if you want to read more about this. And then lastly, it's Skydio SimForce. Uh, Skydio SimForce is a framework that is designed for writing algorithm to control robots. Obviously, drones are somewhat considered robots, right? And the company has released uh, SimForce, which is an open source project to accelerate the robotics in the UAS industry. And they're quoted by saying, it's an incredible tool that allows our team to quickly progress for rapid prototyping to the type of highly optimized runtime code that power our drones. Uh, they basically go and say that this would help people sharing information, it's open source, and basically be able to get prototyping and, and get all sorts of uh, devices out quicker. So we'll put a link, again a link in the uh, description to the Drone Excel article that talks about this. Uh, I think it's interesting, especially coming from, uh, from Skydio. All right. This is all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, and we'll see you next week.